Good morning, happy Thursday, guy. It's a cold day out here, man. But a grind never stop. You already know by now, man. It's Mr. Grab it and bag it. Stake it till you break it. We get money. You already know, man. Let's get into it. So, yeah, man. I want to tell you guys this story, right? So, yesterday, right? I was, uh, you know, I was on my way to make a delivery. You know, it was like a $10 payout. So I got to the customer, the customer said, yo, call me once you get there, you know, call me when you arrive. Don't you hate when they say that, call me when you arrive, and you call them, keep calling them, they're not answering the phone. I don't care what you're doing, once you order a food, you need to have your phone with you. Because when the driver arrives, the, you know, the app is going to tell you your driver has arrived. I keep calling this guy, I keep testing, and this guy didn't answer. So I call customer service, you know, like you're supposed to. They told me to wait five, 10 minutes, right? Okay, I waited five, 10 minutes. And you guys let me know in the comment section. If you wait five, 10 minutes and a customer don't show up, do you wait an additional minutes? You know, I try to be nice, you know, the guy, you know, it was a $10 payout, you know, I try to be nice. I waited another 10 minutes. For this guy, this, this guy didn't show up, you know. And I left. When I left, you know, ten minutes later, customer service calling me, asking me, talking about. And you guys gotta pay this in mind too. Whenever you call customer service, make sure tell them to leave a note. Cause I hear when they call me back, asking me about the same order. Tell them to leave a note. So this this girl called me. This customer rep called me, asking me about. The customer said, you know, it shows right here you delivered the food, but the customer never got it. I said, hold up. Did you read the note? Please go back and read the note on the account. So when she went back, you know, she didn't even read the note calling me, you know, bothering me. She said, yeah, you called us, you know. Yes, I called. That's why I told them to leave a note. Guys, to cover yourself, because this customer is going to call and lie on you. They're going to call and lie on you and tell all these kinds of stuff. And Grubhub always going to sell with the customers. You know? So make sure once you call the customer rec or drive a car, make sure you're telling them to leave a note. So whoever is the next customer rep is going to know. You feel me? So you look at a note and say, yeah, you called. Yeah, I said, yeah, I called. So don't call me and ask me about the same order. And I said, click. Was that right or wrong? Let me know in the comment section, man. Because I don't want people calling me, keep calling me back about the same order. That's why I told the first customer rep, leave a note. So they know. I waited. Some people just wait five minutes. The people don't wait even ten minutes. I wait 15. I wait for, you know, ten minutes. And I wait additional ten minutes, you know. Just to be nice. Because the customer tip go. Ten dollar payout. You know. Grub up don't care about the drivers. They're going to choose... And sell with the customers over the drivers any single day, man. So you got to make sure you cover yourself. You have an altercation with a restaurant, a customer. Your first thing you need to do is call driver care and tell them your side of the story. Do not argue or get into altercation with a restaurant or a customer. They're going to get you deactivated, man. You're going to get deactivated. Because you're not bringing no money. You're not bringing no bag to the table. They can replace you any day, any time. So if, if it's a problem with a customer at a restaurant, the first thing you need to do is call driver car or customer service or email your DS. You don't want to really get deactivated for all, for nobody. You know, losing your bag for nobody or, you know, losing your job for nobody. You feel me? Make sure you cover yourself because Grubhub will sell with the customers and restaurants over drivers every single day like i always say always come to the bag always about the bag man you know like nowadays you know the break you know the breadwinner or you're not bringing no money to the table you're irrelevant right am i right or you know am i right or wrong if you're not bringing no money to the table you know the breadwinner you're irrelevant and it's so sad you know Nowadays, man, but that's how it goes. You're not bringing no money to the table. Nobody want to hear you, you know. It's the same thing with Grubhub, too. The customers 
and the restaurant are the ones bringing the money. The drivers don't bring no money to the table. They can replace you any day. That's why they all. That's why these big companies always hiring drivers, cause they know drivers can quit anytime. That's why they always hiring drivers. You know. So if this how you feed your family, this how you make money. Make sure you cover yourself. You know. Whenever you get into any situation with a customer restaurant, do not argue with them. Just call driver care and just explain to them. You know. Do not argue or do anything to get you, you know, put your job, your job in jeopardy or, you know, get fired over some dumb stuff, you know? So I just want to get you, you know, let you guys know, man. Grub up with sour drive, I mean, with sour with customers and restaurant over drivers every single day, you know? No matter what it is. Because the drive, I mean, there's restaurants and the customers are the ones bringing them money. They don't care about the drivers. They don't care about the drivers at all. All right, guys. I hope you have been safe out there. It's Mr. Grab it and bag it. Stick it till you break it. We get money. Let's go out here and get paid, baby. Always about the bag. Always. Know your worth. Work smart, no hard. Let's go out here and secure this bag. Peace out. I hope you have a great one. God bless everybody. Peace, boss.